grasshopper hopped right underneath that. Okay, we're going to look at the next one, which is Piltdown Man. Piltdown Man. This was found in 1912 by an amateur archaeologist called Charles Dawson and a French faithful Catholic priest who loved the evolution theory called Pierre de Chardin and a few other people, by the way, and um, who were looking for evidence for evolution. This evolution theory now has been around for 50 years, and they're getting quite desperate. We need to find proof. We need to find proof. All right? So this guy, or these guys, took a human skull and a jawbone of an orangutan. Okay? They broke the hinges, filed down the teeth. They uh, treated the jaw with acid. And they put some chemicals, stained it a little bit and went out and buried it in a gravel pit. That's right, they went out and buried it in the gravel pit. So a few days later, they went out fossil hunting as they normally would do, and guess what they found? They found proof for evolution. They planted it there themselves. Okay, this became known as a Piltdown man, man because they buried it in a place called Piltdown, which is in Barkham, Manor, East Sussex, near London. That's the map if you ever want to go down there. And by the way, if you ever did go down there, there is a place where you can have apparently coffee and meals and stuff. Apparently it's a good place, but unlike what the name suggests, it's not free. But you can't miss it. That picture will, will help you find it. Okay, guess what? Soon after the fossil was found, this thing that they made up, this is what they did. They hit the headlines. Darwin's theory is proved true. That's what happened. Okay, and they kept this hoax going for 40 years. Here, listen, if you were going to school during those years and you were told that their evolution is true and there is the proof for it for 40 years, you would have been brainwashed during those times that evolution is true, right? Who would unbrainwash you after that when the hoax came out? No one. You would be remained with the idea that evolution is true, even though they came up with the idea. Because they go around saying it's proof, it's proof, it's a fact, and they only base it on one fossil they made up. But they add all the other ingredients to it, making you think that they've got many proofs. But this is what they had during this time. It was placed in the British Museum, and the same guy submitted more fossils for them to put in the British Museum. So they kept it going. Oh, yeah, they were very good at this, okay? They were very, very good. Now, you see, the way it works is like this. Somebody finds a fossil in the ground. What they don't do is send them out for people to look at. What they do, they create a replica for it. They keep the original, send the replica for everybody to examine it. So what happened? The Piltdown Man was sent everywhere with their replicas. No one saw the original. And they did research papers on this, about 500. Hey, listen, 500 research papers cannot possibly be wrong, can it? Well. It turned out that it was a hoax, because what happened is one guy thought, wait a minute, let's examine the original. Out of the blue, just like that, let's go and examine the original. So he took it under a microscope and he started checking it out and he said, whoa, somebody's filed down the teeth. And this doesn't match, and that doesn't match. And before you knew it, he turned around and he said, wait, 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 it's one big hoax. It wasn't true. So later, they dated the fossil to be 800. That's a skull cap. It turned out only to be 800 years old, and the jawbone was about 100 years old. Nothing to do with each other, and they were very recent, and it came from a, an orangutan. Eventually, in 1953, they discovered that it was a hoax, so that's 1953. Um, and this is where they originally got the idea that the brain must have expanded before language did. And they still carry it today. Oh, the brain expanded and then we've got proof of it here. And that was built on that. It was just a hoax.